Hey there, everybody. Welcome to Wine O'Clock. We want to get your goddamn weekend started right. I feel good about it. Happy Friday. I feel good about Friday, Bron. Yeah, we love Friday. We cheers. love Fridays. Cheers. cheers. Huge cheers with a huge Prosecco. Huge cheers with a huge Prosecco. This feels right. This feels good. And I oh. am loving it right now. Yeah, what I hate a to tell week. you. What a week. What a week it's been. What a week. Thought it would kill me. Really? Yeah. It's been that big. It's been huge. You've done a lot of gigs this week. I've done a lot of gigs. I've had a lot of kids. <laughs> you just you, keep you, having them. <laughs> you gave birth to a few kids this week. Yeah. Well, I think they that's kind of fun. Turning up. That, that's true. Yeah, and when they keep turning up, you have to keep them. Is I'm that like, true? Is that one mine? And yeah, what this do you one do? could be mine. Yeah, just make it stand out the front. You can't make it. You stand can't out make the front. it do get that. Get it inside. Yeah, get give it a cracker <laughs> inside. Hey, Bron, I thought today we could do some fun little, fun little things, little little tips and tricks that I found online. Yes. to help you like in life, life. help you kind of navigate life in a okay. different way. Because weddings, Bron, weddings can be stressful. We've like spoken as, about weddings as the before. bridal party or as a guest. As a guest. To yes. rock up if you don't know anyone, right? So I've got what I've found is uh, wedding icebreakers. Yes, in Can conversation. I just, before we get stuck in, of course, I want to know your opinion on this thing. Mm. A friend of mine messaged me mm. and said, "Hey, mm. I've been invited to a wedding." Yes, I just assumed my partner was also invited. Uh huh. So she's gone out and bought an outfit. Sure. Okay, and the dress to the kill. Dress, I imagine the dress code was confusing. What I don't was know that? what it was. I don't know. I don't Lobster know. or mobster thing. <laughs> Come as a lobster, come as a mobster. Whatever you prefer. <laughs> that sounds like a fun wedding. Come as a Shrek character. But then he'd said, oh, I, I, we've just found out. Like someone had said, oh, but no, no, no. It's Thank heavens he found it earlier. It's not It's not plus one. It's just oh. you. Are, it's just you. Oh, that's stressful. Yeah, so then he had to t- break it to his partner. Sorry, you can't come. Oh, no. That's Which sad. Which I'm sure she'd be fine with because she's like, the, the couple are boring. Who cares? Yeah, but, I mean, no. that's thing. She Do said you that. Think, well, I don't know what she said. I'm, I'm putting words so in her she's mouth, saying. but she's thinking it. Yep, she's definitely. We're all thinking it in a way. So, do you think it, it, someone should assume their partner's coming? I think that's fine to assume. Well, the part really. the wedding that you went to recently, you didn't know them from a bar of soap, and you were allowed to bring your yeah, partner. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I don't know. I I kind of feel like you should be able to bring your partner if they've been dating for a long time. I don't know, like, you know, a couple of years. Are they a couple of years into their relationship? Yeah, they are. Yeah, I think so. I think you'd assume that you were allowed to break. And then what? So they had to contact them and they said, you're not you're not coming. Well, yeah, well, they live together. So I think they just probably turned to them physically. Oh, no, they don't body. live with the people whose wedding it is. I mean, call them. <laughs> No, like, they, I think that they, they found out, like, through other people being like, oh, you know, how are you guys getting there? We were going to, and they're like, no, we. We? There's no We? In team. Exactly. It's just you. You're a solo. You have to go by yourself. Oh, that's – yeah, I don't like that. It's awkward. It is awkward. Isn't it? You don't want to do that. Also, like you want to be able to like – I don't know. You just want to be like like have a night out with your partner. Yeah. And just be like, oh, this is fun. Loving the new dress. Just go get invited by yourself. Yeah, that's not fun. Yeah, because it's not a thing, is it? No, You're like, oh, now I've got to go to – on the day you'll be going, now I've got to go to this thing by myself, this wedding thing. I have friends that I don't like their partners. Yeah. I've said that before. You said that before many I'll times. I say it every day. You say it every day. Um, and, but I would have. I but they would, would love their you. Partner. Oh, God, they just can't get enough. Stop talking about it. Keep you. trying to hang out. And I'm like, no, I don't like you. I don't like you. I don't want to hang out with you every day. Oh, my. And God. every day is a stretch. Yeah. Can we hang out every day? <laughs> <laughs> don't know about that. My kids say it to me. They I'm do. Like, oh. Mama want to hang out every day from now on. <laughs> I want to live with you. I'm like, live that's with too you. soon. I've just met you. We can't just move in together, guys. So I think, um, yeah, but I'd invite them because it's just normal. It's just, yeah. it's just nice and normal. Yeah, it is nice and normal. I yeah. think it's weird not to invite people. You know, if it's a couple yeah. and they've been going out for long enough. it's not, I guess it, if it's like a, a new person in the relationship, yeah, they're like, oh, new. you've just been around. You probably won't last that long. That's yeah. my judgment. I know. Probably won't last that long. Whatever. Actually, I know people who got this family, um, huge family p- picture. It's on everyone, all of their walls, like the three sons – the mother and the stepmom and then the dad and then the, all their partners and all the grandkids. Like there's so many people in this photo, but one of the girlfriends is not the girlfriend anymore. It's right. It's, so she's just on all of their walls until yep. forever and ever again. Because then you're not going to get a new one every year. No. Like that's you could like, if you wanted to, if you want to be fun. That's not fun. But you're not going to do that. No. So this woman is, remains on everyone's wall forever. Oh, my forever. God. And the new girlfriends there just like, oh, that's – not me, is it? <laughs> that's not me, is it? Looking at it for ages going, hang on, that's not me, is it? <laughs> uh, I'm thinking, yes. ha- see if you think this is fun. Yeah. I'm thinking of getting, you know, the awkward family portraits? Yeah, I know them. I love them. I'm thinking about doing it with Diggs. Are you going to get matching jumpers? 
Yeah, we could, but he doesn't. He doesn't. He does, he does not like really. Jumpers. He doesn't like jumpers. Just, Getting his head into anything. Oh, let yeah, me tell you this: head. it's a big head. And, and let me tell you this: that's a werewolf. <laughs> let me tell you this: big heads are werewolves. <laughs> Have you seen Cone Heads? One of my favorite films of all time. And let me tell you this: no offense. No, f- <laughs> let me tell you this also: no offense. Let me tell you this also: also no offense. <laughs> Let me tell you this again. What's he doing? What are you doing, waiter? <laughs> Let me tell you this. Just keep talking. <laughs> going, oh, God, this is exhausting. <laughs> yeah, but. Uh, oh, that's great. Yeah, so I'm thinking of doing, doing that. Wouldn't that be fun? I think that's a fun really thing to do. It's a fun thing to do. Yeah. Um, so this is this is something that I thought I'd bring up to you. Um, just I didn't think of bringing this up just before, but what? at my old. <laughs> can you leave? <laughs> at my at, When I lived, you know, in my old house, it was a bigger house than I'm yes. in now. Big place. When I broke my um, when I broke my foot and then I uh, hurt my back after that, I was off my feet for about um, I think it was like ten weeks in the end. Like yeah. I wasn't really able to do on? a whole lot. Stack it on. Did you stack it on? Yeah, and I wasn't able. Stacks on. We did stacks on every <laughs> night. Um, me and Diggs. That's how you broke. Your so foot I broke my back. back in the first place. So I got into the trouble in the first place. But uh, I got a cleaner. Right. Yes. Uh, once beautiful. a once a fortnight. Right. Mm. It's great. Still have the cleaner here. It's a smaller place, but if he comes in once a fortnight, right. The reason I have the cleaner, tell me if you think this is wild, because I don't need a cleaner here. I clean myself. No, it's just you and Diggs. The reason I have a cleaner, honestly, Diggs loves it. What do you mean? So I'm out a lot, right? Yeah. Diggs and the cleaner love each other. Oh, my so God. one time I walked into the um, bathroom at the old place with my crutches, hobbled down, and he, him and Diggs are just laughing. So he's like laughing and like cleaning <laughs> Cleaning the shower. And Diggs is on the ground. His tail is going crazy. He's lying on the ground and Diggs' his head is back. Like it looks like he's laughing. Okay, he doesn't laugh like that with me. Him and the cleaner get along so well. Same and sense someone, of humor. Yeah, and so someone sent me a little meme the other day and it said, um, when you get a cleaner just so your dog has someone to talk to during the week. That's me. Like because so That's so because I'm out a lot. And yeah. so this cleaner comes once a fortnight and it is Honestly, Diggs' favourite day of the week. Aww. Like he waits for the cleaner um, for Christmas. The cleaner got him a toy for Christmas. Oh, is that the toy that he was chewing yep. on before? Yep. Yeah, the really loud one. He loves it's it. lovely. Thank it's, you for the loud toy. He hates but, his cleaner. <laughs> but he constantly gets Diggs things. He Aww. comes with treats for Diggs. And he also said he likes Diggs so much he would love to take him out. Um, kill him. On no. a date. No, he'd like, yeah, he'd like to take him out on a nice date. No, he'd like to take him out. So like if I ever need during the week, <laughs> if I'm not home, oh. he'll take him for a walk. That's really nice. Isn't that nice? Will you nice? take him up on that? I don't think I will because I think that's too much. I, just, I, I want to pay him more if he was going to do that. But uh, the, it is – it's so nice. I'm like, is that a, is that a wild is thing he, to uh, – Is he local? Does yeah. he have to travel quite far? Oh, yeah. he. Li- I reckon he lives like – I think he lives like 15 minutes away. Everything's 15 minutes away from yeah, Footscray. that's actually true, but not actually. But it takes a lot longer to get there. Yeah. And so he – 15 minutes. But if he loves your dog – he loves – Diggs and, and him Diggs get along. Oh, my God. Just say, see, would you actually want to do that because I am out a lot? And if yeah. you do, and then just say, would, I, can, I can pay you for it. And yeah. And he takes you up on it and say, psych, I'm not Oh, doing psych, it. I'm actually not paying you ever again. Please come and clean my house. <laughs> but, yeah, so, like – and he, look, he's a, good, he's a good cleaner. He's a good cleaner. Oh. And he, so he does, like – he does a little bit of a deep clean every – Two weeks, right? Okay. Don't need it really. But that sounds amazing. It's so Your good. Your house is always very clean. Thank you so much. But you know, I keep it clean. But you, you know, exposed brick always so soft. <laughs> for people listening, it's not really exposed brick. It's wallpaper, but you can't tell. <laughs> you can't tell that it's not real exposed brick. But yes, so he comes in and I was like, is that if I gone a bit mad that I'm now just getting a cleaner because no. But he would know. He knows I don't need him to come around every two weeks. Because he, he told me that the other day. He goes, you sure you want me to still come around? Like, yeah, the place is always really tidy and stuff. You don't need me. And I was like, oh, like, I think it's I think it's good. And then I just kind of left it at that. Cause no, it's nice. I think he know, if he knows and you know, and it's really easy for him to just, like, vacuum. you got to see Diggs with this cleaner. Oh, my god! Oh, my god. It's so good. Is the cleaner human or a dog? The cleaner is another dog and they just <laughs> both eat just in the living room. Oh, they have never dread, cleaned. Dreadful cleaner. <laughs> just... Both cooking each other meals, laughing. God, they're always laughing. He's going, McDonald's is right there. We can go. I leave them $20. They're taking all the dogs in the neighbourhood. $20. I'm walking down, marching down. So, Bron, I've got like these little things. So, this is an article. If you want, here are a few genius wedding icebreakers so you can make every one of your 150 guests feel as loved as your maid of honour. 
Why does she feel loved? I don't she's know. Actually she just should got feel heaps of responsibility. She got she'd be stressed. She'd be stressed. She's got a speech to do. She's They're fuck. almost always shit. She's drunk. She's oh, God. she should be. She should be. She'd she be hates blasted. the dress you chose her. So the, the yeah, she does. These are interesting things. Look, I don't think they're that. I think you could easily think of these. How was your trip here? Oh, I hate this wedding guest. You look great. I know. I'm dressed for a wedding. Have you tried the food item you're most into in brackets? The entree. Yeah. Did you We've see so it. and so is here? I would just the say bride. that. I wouldn't even say. Do you see the bride and groom are here? It's nice of them to come. God, didn't think she would. <laughs> she shouldn't show. I'm going to eject during this. <laughs> what song will you go to on the dance floor? Slap my bitch up. <laughs> when you name your wedding party an officiant, there are a few moments while putting together your wedding. Oh, this is just wedding tips now. Uh, oh. Look, <laughs> I was like, why are you naming? There's my officiant. <laughs> And there's the wedding planner. Look, five wedding breakers. So it's five wedding breakers to make small talk with guests. Mm. Now, I don't think they're that good. They're absolutely You look great this. is not really a – because they go, thanks. Where do you go with that? And you could have done better. Is that what you – Oh. What, it depends. Yeah. You could say Why are you wearing some... a leopard skin uh, jacket? Why are you, why are you wearing a, a leather trench coat? Why are you wearing a top hat and a monocle? <laughs> I can't see. Because it's the way <laughs> Uh, let me ask you this. You ever heard of who it is? <laughs> Why do you think I was invited? I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think they're very good as wedding no. wedding icebreakers. I think a good wedding icebreaker is how long you reckon it's going to last. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because then they know. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> like, I do that to everyone at a wedding. Who the fuck are you? I did that at the last wedding I went to because I didn't know anyone. Who the fuck are you? To absolutely. Why do you I... matter to me? <laughs> you could... Um, you could say another one you could say is um, uh, who do you think oh, is batting you. above their average? Oh, yeah, that's fun. Because then they don't know whether you're joking. Yeah. But they definitely have an answer. I always love that as a comment on something when you know, someone puts up a photo of them and their partner and someone goes, punching. Oh, my God. It's you a, should do that. This. It's actually look frowned upon now. You should never punch. Never punch. Never punch. Never yes. punch anyone. Yeah. That goes for everyone. That's listening. actually one of my tattoos. Never punch. Never punch. Never punch. Yeah, I, I don't think I don't think they're very good. I would I would definitely go your route and be like, uh, you know, how long is this gonna last? I give it yes. I give it three months. Exactly. Um, and yeah. it's funny. It is funny. Because they know that you're funny. Yeah. And if they don't and also it quickly weeds out yeah. the, the dull people. Yeah. If they go, Oh, that's rude, it's a wedding, I just thought you yeah. just before they've even like finished that sentence, you've already walked away. I always like with to, their drink. <laughs> if I don't know anyone at a wedding, like a, recently, I did a bit of um I might get up and make a speech. Yes. And that's always fun to bring up to people, so like going, stressful. You don't know them that well and go, I'm gonna get up and make a speech. Yes. I might get up. Do you think it's open mic? That. My mum yeah, she always she grabs gets up. the mic. Yeah, at weddings she will get up and make speeches. Oh, that's stressful. But that it's always stressful. a oh yeah. And it's always Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's always so many wines in and oh, she yeah. will always do a joke and I reckon it's a fifty percent chance of her remembering it. Oh my god. Yeah. She'll like me or, sometimes. Yeah. That's okay. Hey, we're that's all beginners. Okay. We're all beginners in some way, and that's kind of nice, actually. It's actually nice and that's beautiful. That's actually really lovely. Thank you. Well, look, I would love to hear your wedding tips. Right in. Give us your icebreakers. Yeah. I want to hear what you're thinking yes. about. Yes, and also, what's the worst guest you've ever been to at a wedding with? Yeah, And if yeah. it's someone who's like doesn't think that you're funny when you're obviously saying funny things I'm killing like, it over here. The bride's ugly. <laughs> the bride's ugly. The bride sucks. Oh, my God. Is she wearing that <laughs> on her day of days? <laughs> God's Is sake. she wearing that? That's fun. Is she wearing that? Or uh, come, have you ever gone to a wedding in a white dress? What's your view on that? That's fun. I Can think that's see? hilarious. Oh, people get so upset about that. Speaking about yeah. people get angry on the internet, we've done that recently. Yeah. Talked about it, not being angry on the internet. I'm never angry on the internet. You never it's would a beautiful be. Place. Would be. Beautiful place. Oh, beautiful so part of the world. Yep. Is uh, people who will get so cranky about anyone who wears white to a wedding. Yeah. It's like we think we know which one's the bride. You know what? I would. I the would. One regretting her decisions. If I, if I were you, I'd wear a wedding dress and go. It says wedding dress. This is a wedding, isn't it? It's my wedding dress. Gone. You I'm look s- dressed exactly the same as a bride. <laughs> it's a wedding dress. But like this a is a bigger, wedding, isn't it? Bigger veil. Way bigger. Like a top hat with a veil on top of it. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Androg- I'm androgynous. I'm looking incredible today. Don't know about you guys. You guys don't look that good. 
I'm so sorry, but you guys actually don't look that good. Did you not read the invitation? It said it was a wedding. It said it was a wedding. You guys don't look like you're at a wedding. No offense. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks for listening to One O'Clock. We love you. Oh, <laughs> cheers. Cheers. <laughs>